Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jack, and today we are here with some more prison, episode number 36. <clears throat> and let me just say, guys, if you are going to enjoy this incredibly tasty video, it, that was a weird choice of words, but if you're going to enjoy this video, please click the like button with all your slobber. Let's go over 40 slobber likes, as always. And uh, also, guys, as uh, per usual lately, if you could uh, comment down below, hashtag funny stroll, and then a heart. Uh, that'd be very much appreciated. It would show uh, your love for me and uh, the stuff that I do. So uh, if you could do both, that'd be very much appreciated. Uh, so anyway, guys, uh, as you can see here, I have a couple new things added. Uh, ooh, look at that big tower. All right, I'm going to go check that out as well because that is new. I have not been on here in a couple of days um, since last episode of me recording and stuff. Uh, someone says hi, so I'll be like, hello. And then... Um, so yeah, there's a big tower over there. I didn't even see that till I started recording. I guess that's... Uh, that's how observant I am, apparently. Uh, but I, probably because I was more focused on this stuff, uh, which is probably going to be a big part of this episode, which is going to be pimping out my place a little bit. Because as you know, last episode, I was talking to you guys about not having uh, certain resources that I wanted. And, you know, like every resource that I wanted, um, I would have to, you know, ask people for donations and stuff. And that was cool and all, but it wasn't really, you know, like I'd have to rely on other people and stuff. And also I feel bad about it. And also it was a much slower process and <clears throat> yeah, just basically not, not as effective as if there was like a warp or something for me to go to. And now there is, and I don't know if this has been here the whole time or if they both been here and I've just never had access to them, but regardless, now I have access to them and I know where they are and I know where to go and so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna check out Orp Resources and also Warp D Shop. I don't exactly know who has access to which. Uh, I know D Shop. I'm assuming because it's you know a donator shop that uh, any donators can go there. You know regardless of what rank you are. So uh, just go ahead and donate. And I think you can go over uh, and do that, and then uh, D Shop uh, will be available to you. And then uh, Resources. I have no idea who it's available to. I'm assuming it's only. Or I'm assuming it's available to donators as well. But it seems like. Like, I haven't been to either yet, but, uh, I don't know, resources? Like, if I'm, I'm assuming what it is is gonna be, like, little patches of, like, you know, resources, and you can, like, mine as much as you need. Um, you know, instead of having to go to different, uh, warps, you know, different mines, and trying to find the stuff you need, it would be a lot simpler of a process. Uh, so I'm assuming that's open to donators, but at the same time, uh, it seems like more of a private thing that could be open to maybe only YouTubers, or, you know, high donators or whatever. Uh, but regardless, I have access to it, so that's what we're going to go check out right now. Uh, warp resources. Oh, no, no. Okay, how do I spell resources? Resources. All right, so uh, this nice sign says, get your resources. All right. So as you can see over here, we've got a nice little road that leads to uh, quartz blocks. All right. Um, we have stone brick. That's nice. I, I would like some of that as well. Uh, we have normal brick over here. We have uh, wooden logs. We have coal. We have lapis. We have uh, more uh, wood. I think this is acacia wood. We have glowstone. Oh, heck yeah. Glowstone is something I want. Uh, we have some spruce wood here. We have some... Uh, I don't know what this is. This is like a darker wood, but not quite, you know, sprucey wood. We got some oak wood here. We got some sandstone here. Hala. We got some uh, nether brick. And then we've got... Um, I think that's jungle wood. Yeah, this is some jungle wood over here. So we've got a lot of different kinds of uh, wood and stone and glowstone and whatever uh, I could possibly need. All right, so Butter King was able to get here. I don't know what rank he is, but if he was able to get here, that means um, he must be a certain high rank. So uh, he's not saying in the chat, unfortunately. Oh, no, he's saying he's a VIP. Okay, so it seems like this is a, a little donator uh, type of thingy. So uh, if you're a donator, you can not only have access to D Shop, but also this as well. Uh, and I, I'm assuming it's not, like, uh, automatically, you know, updating... Actually, would that... Is that how it goes? Uh, I don't know, because I haven't, um, you know, tried it out yet. Oh, oh, I can get grass. Ooh, and I think I have a silk touch. No, nope, it's not silk touch, but I'm sure I can get a silk touch from somewhere or someone. Somehow I'll get a silk touch somehow, and I could get, you know, grass blocks if I wanted to. I don't know why I would need them, but if I ever would need them, I, I have access to them. Um... So, again, I don't know if this is, like, um, you know, like, at the, the plots, or the, the warps, the, the mines, that's what I was thinking of. At the mines, like, for A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all, all the way to Z, they have, uh, the stuff, like, every, like, five or ten minutes, uh, the stuff, uh, <clears throat> regenerates here. I'm assuming that's what this system is, because, you know, considering it's open to all donators, I'm assuming it's not just, like, you know, a manual refill, like, you know, randomly, because I think that wouldn't be very efficient, efficient, I was thinking, like, a fix effective and then efficient, efficient, efficient 
Uh, so I'm assuming it wouldn't be very uh, effective or efficient if um, they had to manually restock everything. So it's actually really nice because if I ever need to, um, you know, expand on my house, which I do plan on doing uh, one of these days, uh, I have the quartz blocks. If I want to make it like a modern type house, I have stone bricks for more of a modern feel. I have uh, all the wood that I could ever need. I have lapis, you know, for, you know, cool special effects. Glowstone is something that I've wanted for a long time now. Um, basically, I have a lot of cool stuff that I didn't have access to before. So, this is a very good development indeed, and I'm sure I'll be using it quite a bit in the future. So, thank you very much for, um, I don't know if you just integrated this or you've had it for, like, years now and I've just learned about it. Or maybe I just didn't have access to it. Whatever. Thank you for teaching me about this uh, very nice uh, warp indeed. So... Now that I've showed off warp resources, which I'll definitely be using a little bit uh, later on. Not yet, because I still need to make my moat and stuff, and I'm not going to be needing... I I'm probably not going to be using uh, this warp until I actually um, am building like my my new house, my new base. And I'll probably use warp uh, D-Shop for my moat, and probably for my new base as well. So let me go over there on that note. If it's, uh, I think it's warp D-Shop. Uh, and so here we have the donator shop. This actually costs money, unfortunately. But considering I have 7 billion, let's see, million, million, thousands, hundred, yeah. Okay, I have 7.5 billion dollars. Um, I'm assuming I have enough to buy quite a bit. So look at all these different kinds of wool if I wanted to. That's, uh, how much is that? Is that 2,500,000? Two, 2, That's 2.5 million. Uh, I don't know the math exactly, um, but I'm assuming at the, you know, the kind of, um, whatchamacallit, the mines that I'm at at this level, if I were to ever go out there and mine up a bunch of stuff and then, you know, sell to a really high uh, person on the market, I could probably get a lot more money, because um, I haven't done grind work in a long time. If you guys remember, I did that, like, 10 episode in a row thing, where it was, like, all topic episodes and stuff, and I was like, bleh, it is boring after a while, so... Uh, that's why I started doing other fun, zany, like, un, uh, yeah, unproductive stuff, but also fun stuff at the same time. Um, so, if you guys have a very nice shop, or you know of a nice shop that has uh, really good deals for uh, emerald or diamond blocks or whatever sells for a lot, uh, please let me know. Uh, hello, donkeys, or donks. It, it doesn't have an eye, so it's just donks. Donkeys. Um... So that guy just got uh, shrekt. Yeah, just kidding. That's that's my little uh, joke for the day. Uh, I don't make many of them, but when I do, they're uh, they're pretty good. Anyway, uh, that was that was a weird uh, little bit there. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, he's trying to give me a pickaxe. Hello, sir. What is this pickaxe? This is a donated by Little Greg fifteen. Uh, is it better than my current pickaxe? Hundred twenty five twenty five hundred. No, it's the same exact one. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Lil Greg, I guess, because Donkeys gave it to me, but Lil Greg was the original person. So, thank you very much for that pick. I guess, uh, I may use it later on. Who knows? Who knows what, uh, the future holds? Um, so I'm actually curious if, um, do I still have my shops? I mean, I've never actually gone back. Oh, I gotta go check out my shops. Do I have a shop? Yeah, I do have a shop. Oh, but I never replaced the signs. So I still have a bunch of emerald blocks. If I want to sell those, I can. Uh, but I should probably ref re uh, put the signs on off camera sometime i know i say i'm gonna do a lot of off camera work and i never actually get around to it but hopefully off camera in between episodes i actually do get around to it because that would be very swell indeed um because then i can actually sell stuff and have money but for now i do have money to buy stuff so i'm gonna go back to uh d shop and check out the cool stuff here we got uh arrows you can buy glowstone i'm not gonna be using that probably because i could just mine it for free um actually if i wanted to mine it it'd be a lot better if i had a silk touch uh, type of thing, but I don't think I have any silk touches. I don't have any silk touch, uh, pickaxes. I think it's only pickaxe that I could do it with. So, uh, if you guys have silk touch, uh, for a shovel or for, uh, an, a pickaxe, not an axe, a pickaxe, uh, please let me know. I would love to, uh, have that, uh, enchantment. Or if you guys know where to get that kind of enchantment, that'd be very nice. Uh, oh, no, wait. Is it, uh, oh, they have silk touch right here. All right, so if I wanted to add silk touch, I think I could do that for... 1,000, okay, hold on, 100,000, 10,000, 100,000, uh, 1 million, 10 million, 100 million, is that a billion dollars? No way, that's that nine zeros, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, that's a billion dollars for Silk Touch 1, wow, okay, um, that's a lot of money, I have 7.5 billion uh, but do I use it? I'm probably gonna use it on the the pickaxe. Um, but can I just add it to any pickaxe that I have? Because if I'm if I could add it to any pickaxe, I may as well add it to my uh 
Uh, uh, which one? I'll, I'll probably add it to the one that has not been used yet. So, can I do that right now? Can I add Silk Touch to this? Or do I wait for... No, I kind of... No, because if I get Silk Touch on it, I'm going to be picking up stuff and the fortune will be invalid. So, I need to get myself a new diamond pickaxe that does not have, um... Uh, just the, it doesn't cancel out the fortune, right? Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna get myself a new diamond pickaxe somehow later on, and then enchant that later. For now, I don't need to do that. And I, how do I, why do I have all these buckets of water? I don't, I don't remember my inventory being this full from last episode. Um, but anyway, I'm probably going to, uh, enchant that, or at least make a diamond pickaxe for me to enchant, uh, one of the future episodes later on. Not for now, because I don't need to right now. Uh, but this is, these are some cool, uh, enchantments. I can get myself some, uh, better armor if I didn't already have it. But for right now, I have all this nice cryptic armor, uh, so I don't really need this stuff. Maybe fire aspects? You know, I already have fire aspect 5. So really, the only thing here- oh! Oh, I just added- oh my god, I just spent a bunch of uh, money on, um... It doesn't say how much it costs, though, so maybe it's free? To put fire- oh, did I put- oh, I just went down to fire aspect 2! Oh, that is some cheese, that's baloney. Oh, I accidentally went down from 5 to 2. Ah, that's unfortunate. Um, maybe I have another sword back at uh, the base. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna stop, uh, you know, screwing around. It's time I show you guys uh, all the other stuff. So now we can get cake if I wanted to make my base, you know, more of a family-friendly feel. If I want glass for, you know, glass panes or color panes, whatever. That is, holy moly, 16 is a um, thousand, okay, 3, 4... Five, six, seven, eight. That's a billion dollars for 16 pieces of glass. That's crayfish. That That is crazy with a capital K. Oh, my God. Then you have blaze rods for whatever reason. I guess if you want to make a potion thingy. Uh, seeds if you want to start a farm. Bone for... I don't know what kind of shenanigans you would get into with bones, but apparently you can do something with them. And chimney bottles, uh, they're okay, but I already do enough mining to get levels. Cobwebs, if you want to give yourself a, a nice, um, I guess, dungeon-y, creepy, weird type of feeling. Uh, lily pads, which I'm definitely going to be buying some of. Because, look, you can buy... Is that... Hold on, hold on. Am I buying... I'm buying one lily pad for, um, thousand... Wait, hold on. Three, four, five, six, seven. That is... Ten million? Is that ten million? That's ten million dollars for one lily pad. See, they have some really expensive stuff here. But maybe it's just because I don't have much money. Maybe 7.5 billion isn't as much as I would have thought. Uh, I know it's definitely not enough for me to rank up from whatever rank I'm in. I think I'm in R right now. Let me let me say hi. Uh, no, I'm in S. So I need to get 18 million. Um, so I still need like a, a little over 10 million dollars or 10 billion dollars left. So definitely not gonna be doing that until I buy a bunch of stuff here because this stuff is more important to me at the moment. Uh, so I'll definitely be doing, uh, I'll, I'll fix my shops off camera, get my, uh, money, income back, and maybe do a little bit more mining. Who knows? Who knows what I'll do off camera? You know, I, I never know what I'm gonna do off camera. I, I barely even know what I'm gonna do on camera, so what I'm gonna do off camera is anybody's guess what I'm gonna do. Uh, so I could also buy some nice ice. Mm, maybe if I wanna make that, like, hockey ring that that one guy had, I could do that. But I don't see myself doing that, because I'm not, I'm not Canadian, I'm not a hockey guy. I'm more of a frisbee guy. Maybe even basketball. And uh, speaking of basketball, if I wanted to, I could make a nice basketball court with this orange wool. Um, I, I could see myself making that. You know, like, if I had enough room on my plot, if I want, like, a nice uh, indoor basketball court. All for the future, guys. I'm telling you, we are only, like, 36 episodes into the series. I could see this going for at least 754 episodes. But after that, I don't really see it going anywhere. But 754 episodes, that is the uh, the goal for the series. And I know I can do it with all the basketball courts I can build. And, um... You know, all the crazy stuff. I could also build myself... I could build my head. You know, see this beautiful Patrick Star head? Uh, not copyright. I don't own this show, and this is not a plug for you to watch the show. Uh, I think it's actually gotten worse, uh, apparently, over the last few years. I haven't watched it since I was a wee little lad, but regardless, uh, it's still a beautiful face. Patrick Star in the flesh. So I might be doing that. I'm not going to build the whole statue because that would take a bunch of room that I don't have. And I'd prefer to leave my room open for, um, you know, a big mansion of sorts. So, probably just going to build the head if I build anything at all. Um, but still a bunch of cool stuff here. It's really expensive, so I know that I have to do some work off camera to get the money for all this stuff. And without further ado, is there anything I really need right now? Uh, I kind of want some lily pads for my, um, my, uh, whatchamacallit, the moat. So, I'll probably buy a few of those. I don't, I have a little room, so I'll only buy some of these. Uh, probably need an empty inventory spot. Uh, okay, there. One, two, three. And how many do I need? Um, let me just get ten. That's that's a hundred million dollars spent 
on just lily pads alone. So as you can see, I am definitely a, uh, a great investor. So uh, all of you people who are saying that I'm bad with money, you have just been disproven. Uh, so now I'm going to go back to my beautiful plot here. And it's probably time that I actually get uh, some work done on this thing. So I'm going to go into fly because I think I have better, um, you know, I, I think I move faster or something. I don't know. I just know that it's better when I'm flying around. And, uh, you know, it's actually funny. A after being to the market, uh, it really makes me appreciate just how, um, oh, I can't get in here. That's a nice place, though, but I can't uh, get in there. So... It really makes me appreciate how um, much people spend on their plots. Because look at that. Those glass panes, each of those costs like $45 trillion. Uh, and so because they cost so much, this person really cares about their plot. And it makes me really, you know, respect them as a builder and as a person in general. Uh, oh, I almost forgot about the clock tower. I don't think this is a spawn build, though. I think this is just a random build that someone put together. This is this is quite impressive, though. This is like, um, wait, what would you even call this? I don't think it's done yet, though. Oh, no, this doesn't. Uh, it could be done. I don't think it's done, though. I, I'm assuming it's not done just because, it, you know, with how grand everything is for the top to just be like that. No, actually, no. I think this is it. I think it's just a big bell tower, and the top is like that. Now, in fairness, I I feel kind of weird judging this just because I know I can never build anything anywhere near this good. But, like, you gotta have some kind of roof, buds. Like, like you don't have, like, a little arena on top. Because then people are just, like, you know, chilling. They're like, la di da di da di da da And then they fall off and then they die. Like, that's not good. Like, you don't want that happening in Peter Pan. Like, if they had a... Do they even have a watch or a clock tower or a, you know, bell tower or whatever in uh, Peter Pan? I don't even know. All I know is that I think it deserves a better roof. So, if the person who built this is watching, uh, it's probably gonna stay down here somewhere. Unless it was built by the uh, nice owners of the server. Uh, no, apparently, maybe there's not even a sign at all. Or maybe I'm just missing it, and the person's gonna get really pissed off because I completely avoided this brilliant design. Uh, yeah, it looks like there's nothing to, um, tell me who made it. But, uh, if you guys, if you're the person who made this, add a roof to it, and, uh, then it'll definitely be worthy of my presence. But for now, I'm going to go back to my far superior plot that has parkour in it, and, uh, you know, uh, almost a moat. Not a moat yet, but almost a moat. Um, now it's time to pull out my incredible shovel here, and did I even tell you, did I, wait a minute, didn't I destroy all this stuff? I could have sworn I destroyed this stuff, um, okay, maybe it got destroyed in the, um, when the server got, you know, reset or, like, changed a little bit. I'm not exactly sure, uh, I may have to destroy it again, though. Um, I'm still not exactly sure what I'm going to do about, uh, my parkour, you know, like, when you fall off, you know, I don't want, I don't want people to have to swim back to the beginning, um, so, who knows? What I might do, actually, is... Let me destroy this stuff. What if I went to here, and then I left one, um... Kind of border thing. That's what I might do, actually. I'll probably leave a little border thing around it, so that people... No, because... Eh, eh, yeah, I'm gonna leave this border thing around. So, this border thing will be here. And so, if people want to, you know, just, like, walk around and chill. And they don't want to get into the plot, but they don't want to be, like, restricted to this little thing. They can stand right here on this nice, uh, thingy. And, uh, yeah, I think that'd be cool. It's not gonna be grass, obviously, because that would look, you know, weird next to water. It would definitely be, uh, probably stone brick to match, uh, this, you know, the thing right next to it. So, I will definitely be doing that, but that's gonna be more breaking. And I may as well actually destroy this, uh, this layer right here, too, because if I'm gonna replace it with stone brick anyway, there's no point in me keeping it like that. And, uh, the big question is, do I destroy, like, everything? Do I destroy everything and just, like, go from there? Or do I, like, destroy things, like, methodically and, you know, think about every block I destroy? I, th most likely, I'm just gonna start destroying and I'll, you know, fix everything that I destroy later on. Oh, oh, what did I? Oh, I almost broke that donation block. That's not good. Um, and I don't want to destroy the, this, the beginning of my parkour. I, I, I'm gonna have to eventually, but for now, I'll, I'll dodge it, and then I'll figure out exactly what I'm gonna do with everything later. Um, again, I didn't plan this stuff out, guys. Please don't yell at me. Um, though what I am happy about is that, um, considering I now have access to all those, uh, resources and, uh, you know, stuff on the, uh, donator shop, uh, I feel like I have so much more power, uh, to build myself a beautiful, um, whatchamacallit, you know, the, uh, the water slide. And, uh, the roller coaster I also still want to build, uh, however, I don't know where I can get redstone or rails or whatever, you know, you need for a roller coaster to be built. So, if you guys do know where that is, and I, maybe, maybe they're gonna add it to the donator shop and they just haven't yet. I don't know, all I know is I can't get redstone anywhere, and I can't, uh, I, I physically can't, you know, get rails anywhere. Uh, unless it's, again, unless it's somewhere hidden that I don't know about. Maybe it's in that shop way over there. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I can only get it from, uh, people giving it to me. Um, but, uh, you know, if you guys, 
know where to find it, uh, telling me would be very much appreciated. So, anyway guys, I know this is kind of an off-topic video. I did not mean for it to be so, you know, all over the place. I meant for it to be more of a, you know, finishing up the moat kind of thing. But I got distracted with how incredible and beautiful that plot is over there, except for the no roof. And then also the, uh... Warp donator shop and the warp resources and you know all that fun stuff all that cool uh, Jazz and yeah all, all that stuff basically so anyway guys hopefully you did enjoy this zany video uh, If you did please lick the like button with all your slobber Let's go over 40 slobber likes and of course uh, comment down below hashtag funny stroll and then a heart Which is the hashtag funny stroll and then uh, the less than three sign uh, Which makes a heart and uh, if you do both of those or you know even just one of those but both preferred um, then it would show your uh, love for me and your support for everything I do, and it would just show, um, how amazing of a person you are. So, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye!